A reading from the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, verses 1 to 12. There is a time for everything and a reason for every activity under the heavens. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to uproot. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to tear down and a time to build. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to scatter stones and a time to gather them. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to search and a time to give up. A time to keep and a time to throw away. A time to tear and a time to mend. A time to be silent and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time for war and a time for peace. What do workers gain from thy toil? I have seen the burden God has laid on the human race. He has made everything beautiful in its time. He has also set eternity in the human heart. Yet, no one can fathom what God has done from beginning to end. I know that there's nothing better for people than to be happy and to do good while they live. The word of the Lord.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. seeing the crowds Jesus went up on the mountain and when he sat down his disciples came to him and he opened his mouth and taught them saying blessed are the poor in spirit for theirs is the kingdom of heaven Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when men revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad for your reward is great in heaven. Dearly beloved, the gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ.
My dearly beloved, in Christ Jesus, in life, death, death is about the most assured certainty we have and live with. And yet, when it occurs, dying or death always takes us by surprise, leaving people in shock, no matter how prepared or psyched up we had been before. This is exactly what happened to me and my brother bishops while we were meeting at Aduto in Sogakopa in the Volta region for the plenary assembly of the Ghana Catholic Bishops Conference when the unexpected news broke on Thursday morning, November 12, 2020, that flight Lieutenant Jerry John Rawlings had died. In shock, we all began to stutter. How? When? Where? Was he sick? And we were told it had happened at Kolebu Hospital and had been officially announced. William Shakespeare says, and I quote, death is a necessary end that will come when it must come. Julius Caesar at 2 scene 2. Shakespeare, in fact, was putting into other words what the holy writer of the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, verse 1 to 12, which was proclaimed to us a short while ago, wrote, and permit me to quote some of the verses I find very relevant to the mood we are celebrating here and why this passage was chosen. I quote, There is a time appointed for everything, and a time for every affair under the heavens. A time to be born. And a time to die. A time to plant. And a time to uproot what is planted. A time to kill. And a time to heal. A time to tear down. And a time to build. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to embrace and a time to be far from embraces. A time to love and a time even to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. So, my dearly beloved sisters and brothers in Christ Jesus, die we must, at one time or the other. That is appointed by God and known to God alone. The holy writer of the book of Ecclesiastes underscores this by saying, and I quote, God has made everything appropriate to its time and has put the time into their hearts without men's ever discovering from beginning to end the work which God has done. However, our author gives us some consolation in the face of this ignorance about when we shall die and in the face of this helplessness in the in death, in the face of this endlessness of a cycle of
of time. And he states, and I quote again, I recognize that there is nothing better than to be glad and to do well during life. So in the face of the helplessness, in the face of the cycle, endlessness of that cycle, he says, I recognize that there is nothing better than to be glad and to do well during life. My beloved, this is the ultimate goal and consolation for our earthly life. To be glad and to do well during life. One of the reasons we are here this afternoon and in this place of worship is to remember J. John Rawlings and to be glad for his life. We are gathered here to thank God for the gift of J. John Rawlings. A gift that only God can help us appreciate its worth and its gravity. We are here to join his dear wife to thank God for the gift of a husband of nearly six decades. We are here to join you, his beloved children, to thank God for the gift of a dear father. We are here to join the Agotui and the Allied families there are not traditional leaders and relatives to say thank you to God for the gift of your son, Jerry John Rawlings. And we are here to join all and sundry, even the entire population of Ghana and indeed of the whole continent of Africa to thank God for giving us the gift of this enigma of a personality who for decades played his role here on the political stage of Ghana and Africa and who did all that he was able to do and achieve from the depths of his heart and with single-minded conviction not easy to fathom let alone to appreciate fully Yes, the holy writer again helps you and me by this rhetoric question. What advantage has the worker from his toil? The task which God has appointed for men to be busied about. And in answer, the holy writer says, I quote, God has made everything appropriate to its time and has put the time into their hearts without men ever discovering from the beginning to the end the work which God has done. And good. Brothers and sisters, there is a key to the very mystery of human life, any human life for that matter, which only God knows and only God keeps to himself. And therefore, in all things, even in death, we must thank God, especially for not knowing when the end will come. But we must be glad in life, and we must do well during life. After all, Psalm 90 verses 9 and 10 remind us, and I quote, our life ebbs away under God's wrath. Our years like a sigh. Seventy is the sum of our years or eighty. If we are strong, most of them are sorrow and toil. They pass quickly and we are all but gone, the psalmist says. So beloved, let us continue to thank God even for Jerry's 73 years of life and for making our paths cross, our paths of life cross. For God in his eternal wisdom gave us the grace to meet and to 
to live with Jerry John Rawlings for all that he was. Let us never forget that it was God who in his unfathomable wisdom gave this man as a husband, gave this man as a father, gave this man as a friend, gave this man as a head of state, gave this man as president of Ghana and all that he was. Let us be grateful for this gift and appreciate him as St. Paul would have us do. And I quote, In all things give thanks, for this is God's will for you. In all things give thanks, for this is God's will for you. First Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 18. Now, reflecting on the life of this mystery called Jerry, I must confess that I often tried hard to come to terms with who he was and what made him that singular of a personality, loved by very many and disliked or even hated by others too. But the truth is that the annals of Ghana can never be written without mentioning Flight Lieutenant Jerry John Rawlings. A name that became synonymous with Ghana's history from, for those of us who know, May 15, 1979, through June 4, 1979, through December 31, 1981, to the 12th of November 2020 with his demise on that fateful November morning, the curtain of Ghana's history was drawn upon what I call Act 4, Scene 7, making allusion to the seventh government of the Fourth Republic of Ghana. A new dawn has broken on this country, a period that will be called post Rawlings era. Traditionally, in Akan, we say Odupong be a tutu. Odupong kasi be a tutu amba. Yes, a great tree has fallen. A mighty tree indeed has been uprooted by the wind. There is another adage I enjoy which says, and I quote, to wit, when the frog dies, only then do we see its full length. There is, however, another rendition which I enjoy better, and that says, Se apunchreni wua. To wit, it is when the frog dies that you notice it had a white belly. It had a white inside. These are indeed the true statements that should now begin to dawn upon us about Papa J. From my rather varied knowledge of Jerry, as I have often tried to come to terms with this enigma that I secretly admired and yet could not really fathom, I deliberately chose the gospel of the Sermon on the Mount of Jesus Christ for today's pre-burial mass. And I quote some of the verses I find very remarkably relevant to this personality. And I quote, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are they, the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. 
Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness. For this is the kingdom of heaven. And Jesus concludes his sermon by saying, Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad for your reward will be great in heaven. For thus they persecuted the prophets who were before you. Unquote. Dearly beloved in Christ Jesus, my dear friends and family of Jerry, this is what the Lord laid on my heart as I reflected on the public life of Jerry John Rawlings and the service he rendered this nation and humanity as a whole. Jerry, in his own way, was always hungry and thirsting for righteousness. Jerry, in his own way, fought for the poor. He longed for the coming of the kingdom of heaven. He worked for justice to be established for the underprivileged. And he could not tolerate the slow pace at which this was coming to bed. Nor could he suffer those who seemingly deliberately thwarted the manifestation of the kingdom of God. Jerry's mantra, probity, accountability and transparency, was what he tried to see instituted in the Ghanaian body politic. And I testify to the fact that he lived and he died for this. Many of us, though convinced about the need for transparency, probity and accountability in human discourse and in political intercourse, we could not espouse and appreciate the path Jerry took to execute this program for good governance. Nevertheless, my deepest conviction is that only God will be the best judge of Jerry on the depth and the genuineness of his conviction and faith in God, a truth that only God knows best and can fathom about his son Jerry John Rawlings. And so I repeat, blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Dearly beloved in Christ, I am again deeply convinced that finally and at last, Jerry has come to the full truth he so hungered for. Jerry has now come to understand that which was driving him on. And he has come to realize or even appreciate that he was hungry for the Lord. And how, maybe unknowingly, he was an instrument in the hand of an omniscient God. And how this all-powerful God was fulfilling history with Jerry as one of his divine instruments. Beloved, if there is any legacy that we can uphold of Jerry John Rawlings, let us first and foremost forgive him for what in our eyes and estimation seem seemingly excesses in his utterances and in his doings. At this holy mass, when we commemorate the saving passion and death of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, that singular sacrifice of atonement which he made once and for all on Calvary, ours now is to forgive if any. For now is the time to leave judgment to the Lord our God alone. Let St. Paul's words to the Corinthians be our guide. And I quote, Therefore, do not make any judgment before the appointed time until the Lord comes, for he will bring to light what is hidden in darkness and will manifest the motives of our hearts and then everyone will receive praise from God. 1 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 5. Yes, everyone will receive praise 
as God the just judge deems fit. The second legacy of Jerry is this. Now is the time to look with different and unbiased eyes at his personal crusade of probity, transparency and accountability. Let us take oath today in the presence of God to work conscientiously to establish these virtues of property, accountability and transparency in our own individual lives and in the social and political life and service of our country, Ghana. This will be the most worthy legacy and monument we can build to his name and for posterity not to forget that once there lived in Ghana a man, Flight Lieutenant Jerry John Rawlings, who so abhorred unrighteousness and tried to sanitize our country and society, albeit in his own way. At this juncture, let me dare address you, the young ones here present. More especially, if I may, Zaneto, Yasantua, Amina, and Kimathi. Jerry, your dear father, is no more. You will miss him greatly because only you knew him differently from all other persons. Dear Madam, Anna Kunedu, you will greatly miss him with whom you shared over six decades of life. I hear it all started even earlier in Achimoto School. No one knew Jerry better than you did, I bet. The accounts tell us Dear Eno Ensakono, and I the Ensakono, Eno Ensa in Ruho. So you knew him better than anybody else. God gave him to you, and you loved him and shared his dreams and his life project with him. Our Lord Jesus Christ, the Savior, is by your side, and he says to you, the dear family, Blessed are you who mourn. For you will be comforted. May God comfort you. Never forget to pray in times of loneliness and sorrow to Christ Jesus. On behalf of the entire Catholic Church in Ghana, on behalf of my brother archbishops and bishops, those who are here and those who could not be here, on behalf of the clergy and the religious and all the lay faithful of Ghana, please accept our deepest condolences for your irreplaceable loss. May God himself fill that vacuum in your lives. My dear Zaneto, my dear Yasantua, my dear Amina, my dear Kimavi, take good care of your mother. Your father has left her in your care. But now is the time to bring your father back to life by walking in the best of his shoes. You only can best do this by nurturing the virtues and the values of Papa J. May probity, transparency and accountability be your watchword and your mantra also. May your dear father continue to live on in you and in your lives of virtue, especially in your lives of service to God and Ghana and humanity. May you hand down his virtues and values to your children and to posterity. Do not forget what Jesus says today in the gospel, and I quote, Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of Jesus Christ. Rejoice and be glad for your reward will be great in heaven. Thus they persecuted the prophets who were before you. And now to you, our dear politicians, I know we have quite a good number of you here. You have been called by God for service to our country 
Let probity, transparency, and accountability be the lamp to guide your service to Ghana. Do not let Jerry's life's crusade be in vain. God is ordaining a new era for Ghana now. And permit me to quote from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 43, verse 19. Behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs forth, says the Lord God. Do you not perceive it? I quote again. Behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? To you also, our dear politicians, the Lord Jesus Christ has this to say. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. In conclusion, let us, my dearly beloved in Christ Jesus, continue the celebration of the Holy Mass of Thanksgiving, thanking God for Papa J and asking for God's mercy upon him and upon all of us in our own human weakness and frailty and for sins, even those committed against JJ2. Let us pray to God to raise up many more Jerry John Rawlingses to help make this country a better place for all. Yes, blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Eternal rest, grant unto him, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. Once a Catholic, always a Catholic. Big Brother JJ, rest in perfect peace. Amen. Dearly beloved, shall we rise? And having heard the encouraging words of the Holy Scriptures, with our faith now shored up a bit, let us dare put before the Lord our God our prayers and our petitions. hands, O oh Lord, we humbly entrust the soul of the late former president of our country, Ghana, His Excellency Flight Lieutenant Retired Jerry John Rollins, and all who have died. In this life, you embrace him with your tender love. Deliver him now from every evil and bid him eternal rest. 
the old order has passed away. Welcome him into paradise, where there will be no sorrow, weeping, or pain, but fullness of peace and joy, with your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit, forever and ever. For our late former president, let us pray to the Lord. Let us pray for the clergy and the church. Gracious and loving God, we thank you for the gift of the clergy. Through them, we experience your presence in the sacraments. Help the clergy to be strong and joyful in their vocation and ministry. Set their souls on fire with love for your people. Grant them wisdom, understanding, and the strength they need to follow in the footsteps of Christ, your Son. Inspire them with a vision of your kingdom and help them to become potent instruments of your divine grace. For the clergy and the church, let us pray to the Lord. Let us pray for the states. Almighty and ever-living God, bless our dear nation Ghana and make it true to the ideals of freedom and justice. Be close to our dear president and to all our statesmen and stateswomen. Grant them vision and courage as they ponder decisions affecting peace stability and growth of our nation Ghana. Make us all deeply aware of our heritage, realizing not only our rights, but also our duties and responsibilities as citizens. Help this great land and its entire people to discern clearly your will, that they may fulfill the destiny which you, O oh God, have ordained for us as one people. For our nation Ghana, we pray to the Lord. Let us pray for the family of the late former president, Flight Lieutenant Retired Jerry John Rawlings. Dear Lord, we pray and trust in the family of our late former president, Flight Lieutenant Retired Jerry John Rawlings, into your loving and comforting hands, that you will be their source of consolation, refuge, providence, and strength. Journeying with them in these most difficult times, covering them with your great wings of love and shelter, giving their weary hearts rest and granting them absolute peace of mind and body. For the family, let us pray to the Lord. Let us pray for the poor, the sick and needy. Lord Jesus Christ, you came to give healing to the sick and you showed charity to the poor and needy. Help us to be your ears, to listen to their cries, your voice, to speak out love and acceptance to them, your feet, to walk to them, your hands, to clothe, feed and shelter them. Keep them, O oh Lord, from physical, spiritual, and emotional harm. We pray for our Chief Shepherd, Most Reverend John Bonaventure Kofi, and all who are severely ill, 
most especially with COVID-19, that you will bring them freedom from illness and misery. For the poor, sick, and needy, we pray to the Lord. God listens to our heart beats, and therefore let us put before him in the innermost recesses of our hearts what we want to tell a loving God and a Father. And as Mother Mary experienced the death of her beloved son, so may she intercede for us as we pray, Hail Mary. Heavenly Father, these are some of our prayers and our petitions. We have many more, and you know them, even those we ourselves are not aware of. Grant us them, for we have prayed in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Shall we please sit? The choir will lead us in medley of songs as we bring our offering. The ushers will direct us. The, the ushers are coming around, so you drop your offering in the box. I'm a man of the 
which are saying, Kali he numbered 59. Lord, accept the gifts we offer. Page 4 of the program. that our sacrifice of bread and wine may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice as your hands. For the praise and glory of his name, for our good, the good of all his holy church. O Lord, as we humbly present to you these offerings of bread and wine for the salvation of your servant, Jerry, we beseech your mercy that he who did not doubt your son to be a loving savior may find in him a merciful judge who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. Thank you. 
thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just. It is our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, in Him the hope of blessed resurrection has dawned, that those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for those who will be in heaven. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the host and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we are clean. to sit others you can kneel in adoration you are indeed the holy O Lord you are the font of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up. For you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you Lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit Remember also, remember Lord your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, John Bonaventure, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servants. John Jerry Rawlings, whom you have called these days from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Recepti salutare bus moniti e divina institucione formati audemus dicere. Alleluia. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you all, always. The peace of the risen Lord be with you all. Christ the Lamb of God the one who gives us the assurance I am the resurrection and the life whoever eats my body and drinks my blood lives in me and I live in him even if he should die I will raise him from the dead behold him who takes away the sins of the world blessed are we who believe and are called to the supper of the Lamb May the body and blood of Christ bring you and me to life everlasting. Amen. Please, you can sit. We shall take the following communion hymns. 245, how sweet the name. Page 5 on page 5 in our brochure followed by O Bread of Heaven, also in page 5, 1, 0, 3.
Can we please stand? Let us pray. Lord our God, whose Son left us in the sacrament of his body and blood, food for the journey of life, mercifully grant that strengthened by it, our brother Jerry may come to the eternal table of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. May I humbly invite Anna Kunedu Wajiman Rollins with her children to come for an exclusive blessing. like to say a prayer for you, um, entreating God to be effectively present with you. Almighty God and Father, we thank you for this family. Through their love and their support, you have enabled their father, President John Jerry Rawlings, to render selfless service to our dear country for many years. In your wisdom, you have called him now to enjoy the eternal rest you have prepared for him. This is a joy in our faith, but it is painful for those who are close to him. We pray you, almighty God and Father, to be effectively present in their lives, accompanying them, supporting them, in the rest of their lives they have to live. Give them insight and understanding, courage, deep faith and hope that they will reunite with this Father in the resurrection. We are praying you now to bless them, bless also other family members who would have loved to be here for the blood. Bless them effectively in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. If you want to bless yourself, you can take the water and do it. Make a sign of the cross for it.
few additional acknowledgements. In addition to what the Archbishop has already done, we have in attendance the Speaker of Ghana's Parliament, Right Honorable Abuen Babin, and the leadership of Parliament here with us. Thank you for coming. Celebrating today, Principal Celebrant Most Reverend Charles Gabriel Pamabako, Archbishop of Capos, and Vice President of the Ghana Catholic Bishops Conference. We have Most Reverend John Bonaventure Kofi, Archbishop of Accra, also present. Most Reverend Philip Name, Archbishop of Tamale, and President of Ghana Catholic Bishops Conference. We have Most Reverend Gabriel Edo Kumoji, Bishop of Keta Akachi Diocese. We have very Reverend, Most Reverend Dr. Justice Akrofi, former Anglican Bishop of Accra, Archbishop of West Africa, also with us. We have Reverend Father David Akio Ado Kwe. We have Venerable Major Ebenezer Laye, Anglican Archdeacon of Accra Northeast. We have Very Reverend Father Lazarus Amondi, Secretary General of Ghana Catholic Bishops Conference. We have Very Reverend Father John Kobana Lewis, Vicar General of the Archdiocese of Accra. And we have Monsignor Pius Peglo, Monsignor Peter Agbenu, and Monsignor Hilary Senu. Thank you, everyone. I want to thank all of you, the Cathedral Administration, choirs, ushers, media men, our security personnel, our ushers, and all who have made this program a successful one. We thank you, and may God bless all of you for coming. So on behalf of the Bishops' Conference, I think we have to say a word of thank you again to the family members and all the planners for accepting to have Requiem Mass as the beginning of the three days of mourning that is being accorded the former president, right, Lieutenant J. John Rawlings. We thank you sincerely. Um, I, I hear, Your Excellency, may I present you, please rise. This is the Apostolic Nuncio to Ghana. He's the ambassador of the Vatican to the, of the Holy See to our dear country, Ghana. His name is the no, Most Reverend Henry Mieczysław Jagozinski. He is from Poland. He is from Poland. He is here in his capacity as ambassador and a Catholic, of course. Therefore, we thank you sincerely for accepting to be here, supported by his secretary, uh, Pavol Talapka. Thank you very much. So we will offer a final blessing. Then the bishops, we will usher the president and the vice president out to their vehicles. We want to say once again, thank you. We are with you continuing the morning until Wednesday when we meet at the Independence Square for the final funeral rites. May I invite you to rise. The Lord be with you. Bow down your heads and pray for God's blessing. My dearly beloved in Christ Jesus, the resurrection and the life, Jesus, and our Savior of all humanity, it is to him we go and pray 
May Jerry John Rawlings, our brother, father, husband, friend, and former head of state and traditional leader, for whom we have offered this atoning sacrifice of holy mass, receive God's merciful judgment and reward, and find peaceful repose in the bosom of Abraham in heaven. Amen. In his death, Jerry, once a Catholic, always a Catholic, has succeeded to gather us here in unity and singleness of purpose in this Holy Spirit Cathedral from the political and the traditional and the religious leadership of our country and also from Africa and beyond. May what he has accomplished today lead us all on to hunger and thirst for righteousness and to work for probity, accountability, and transparency. Amen. Amen. May the Lord our God, who in his own wisdom gave us Jerry John Rawlings, raise up many more such young people in our country and on our continent, and even the whole wild world, and imbue them with zeal and commitment for justice on behalf of the poor, the needy, and the underprivileged in our midst. Amen. And I invoke the unfathomable blessing of God Almighty upon you all in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our Mass is ended. We will go forth in peace to love and serve the Lord in each other. Please, I will humbly ask that we all stay where we are for the president, the vice president to go out before we do so. We shall sing from Catholic hymn number 305, Hark, Hark, My Soul, page 6 of our brochure.
8K, you Netflix, you YouTube, and I say you go and you send the boss to be go yi. Come up, young Congo promo. It's a more price now. Are you easy? Oh, machine way. Are you energy saving? I say keep me no more fresh, side by side. Fridge ni, freezer so so ni. Now we man too. Come up, young Congo promo. We told TV you know, at easy price. And you do this to check. Wow! Come from Yanko and Kwa Promoti. I was a funny if you could have become a new one. Six burner gas oven. New ball for four for chicken inside. We told any assigned chair with rice cooker. Come from Atiti Home Appliances. Now tell you the baby. My name is Blender. My name is Kettle. My son is Microwave Oven. Come from Yanko and Kwa Promoti. I guess I want to talk about it. I'm going to talk about it. So, your fortune, you are near the Kushigu, a Jimada, seven side. What will be TV? A smart 8K. So what's the UK average memo? Now when your car a queen she be a any of four. And now say a docket of washer one one show ye. Right claim bet me a boawama one just a campaign pin the brain. Ya wa UK a lawyer for it through and I say a cuckoo down for I'm betting me a boaw a mouth. Cause it's a we see can of a back. And one is a over called WW dot rightclaims.co.uk Now I feel it will form. Ube to me a prayer and one not be ya a wolf in the AC. Say a cancel of flights. And now so when your flight delay for over down shrimp may try three hours and cover the air. Right claims with me a boawama a hansu wajisika. Right claims. It's as simple as that. What's the UK average memo? Now, when your car a queen she be a any of four, and now say a docket of washer one 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 show me right. Wow, this boy is great. Now she won't sway. I hope you can't could be a yeah, my dear dear girl. Brain X syrup and yeah, no, you know, brain X syrup. It would be an in Ruby to say omega 3 fatty acids. Vitamins are who drop e and the glutamic acid a woman mo fra actually mo dong ne sama wa po mo ding brain egg syrup ube nye bi wa drugstore e be in wo mo ne do do mo diye fredricard pharmacy e wan cry o kaishi drug lane e wo 0244-560-296 brain egg syrup E mamo fra a jini ma po mo den. E si pi, e si ta. E di e, a she she sa e jye di en kra tu e yi mo. A jye a tu mo se, e jye. ANS Trading Agency Limited. Ye jma ye ye pa ye door to door courier service. A ye di fin lenden o himan chrome. Anan se iro be bia, o pe se o she po ni e ma de ba gana no. Ye jma ye san ye bio, e ye so beto left hand drive vehicles. A car to create a truck timber. I will pass all different Europe. A bagana. And I say, I will pass over a 20 foot container. And a 40 foot container duty. You didn't want to temper. It doesn't matter. But I wish you put container in the free. So the free China. And I say, Europe, I find America. But I pass over the free. You bet my amount. Duty there. We are one of the best. And with the whole Ghana. So I will pass over the free. And I will see you in the free. And I will see you in the free. We are the best. Michael, we support the new system. Yeah, you know, Michael. Bacho, what's going on here? Ah, let's not copy everything. We're going to be better. We're going to support you. 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 We're going to
Champion, Mr. 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 Only one. Okay. Thank you. I'm supporting a new system. I need your well-being. Let me see. Let me see. Come on. support me music system. Mm. Yeah, my bike. But you are turning here. Ah, let me go be able to go to the bike. Make a support me with your phone and your music system. Hey, I'm going to t shirt. My t shirt. I'm going to go to the bike. 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 I'm going to go to the Welcome to UNAC Digital. Here, we deal in security locks, smart locks, intelligent locks, which are ideal for corporate institutions, for banks, real estate, forex bureau, and many more. Here at UNAC, we have a variety of locks. This is our facial recognition lock, barometric lock, this is our little barometric lock. It's ideal for front aluminum glass doors. You can locate Unit Digital at Wager, SEC Junction, off the DVLA Road. Call us on 0553-892370 or WhatsApp us on 0507-242299. Unit Digital, security in style.